Okay, welcome to our second session on budgeting. I hope you had a lot of fun with the first one. We had a gallon of water. We had to make it last for 24 hours, and I'm sure that there were some ingenious methods came up to utilize the water and not to run out of water. Today we're going to move on to something else that's a little more challenging, and it's a problem that everybody seems to have, and that's not enough time in a week. And the common expression I hear from my students is, where did my time go? So I put together a little worksheet that will be made available to you by your instructor that will list all the days of the week, Sunday through Saturday, and your time starting at midnight of one day through midnight of the following day. And I'm going to ask you, if you would, to download this worksheet or, or however your instructor provides it to you and to go through and complete the template. So to help a little bit this thing, to, to get your thinking started, and every week we have 168 hours, and I've elected to allocate some of these which may or may not apply to you as an individual. And the first thing I've looked at is everybody's going to sleep for seven hours. So of my 168 hours to start with, I'm going to spend 49 hours sleeping. I'm also going to spend 40 hours working, since many of you, I understand, hold a position. Some work 20 hours a week, some work 60 hours a week, so I've just picked 40 as kind of intermediate. Then one thing we all like to do is 14 hours of eating. So it's figuring a half hour for breakfast, half hour for lunch, an hour for dinner, seven days a week, that gives us a total of 14 hours. Most of you are carrying a full load, which would be 18 hours, and then a recommendation of two hours at home for every hour in class is going to pick up another 36 hours. So taking 168 hours and subtracting all of that leaves us with 11 hours. So that's the amount of spare time that we have to, to go to the store, uh, to date, to do our laundry, to put gas in the car, to do the errands that we need to do as part of our 168 hours. So what are the options? Well, if you're not working 40 hours a week, maybe you're only working 30, you can pick up 10 hours. If you only need six hours of sleep, you can pick up another seven hours. If you don't care to eat but two meals a day, you can pick up another hour, half hour a day and another three and a half hours. But I'm going to ask you to download the worksheet or however your instructor provides it to you go through and identify in large chunks of time where your time is actually being spent. And then once you have done that, go back and total up the, the, the major increments, see how much is left, and then where you are spending your time. And, and I think what you will find is that there are many hours in the week that you're not utilizing for one reason or another. So download the spreadsheet or however your instructor gives it to you, complete it, and see if you're using your time the way you want to use it, because it's your time and no one else's. 168 in a week, how do you want to use it? Choice is yours.